Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh wow. Now this I would actually have in my front porch. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty too. I love this one. But this would be a little too sheer. Maybe not see-through, but I mean daylight, you know? Which is really pretty. This would be so pretty as a rug. I need to learn how to make rugs because the possibilities are endless. They would look so pretty together. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's episode. Today I am attempting to DIY once again <laughs> something else. Quick little story, generally as soon as I wake up I like to open all the curtains, open up the blinds and my son has followed the same, I guess the same steps as me. So sometimes on the weekends when we normally uh, or when we try to sleep in or he wakes up before us and he will open all the curtains and all the blinds. But one in particular broke, which is the door window. We had this um, really this really cheap window or like a door blind, the one that you roll, that you pull and you know, it automatically rolls back up to cover the uh, front door window. So I decided to DIY a kind of blind or curtain for the door. I, of course, as always, I searched Pinterest and looked for inspiration. Um, ideas kind of like a DIY option or just to see what I liked I actually saw this post on Pinterest that I thought it was so beautiful but I think it's the back door so it's actually would not it would not work for a front door because you sometimes need to open your front door and then that means that you would have to open the curtain all the way up so I just thought it wouldn't be convenient as much as I loved it and I almost gave into that so I went into Joann's and I actually went through the um outdoor fabric section just because i wanted something to be thicker kind of like a blind kind of quality you know like those roll-up blinds it's like a slightly thicker uh fabric not necessarily too sheer there's a lot of pretty options but i decided to go with this one it is kind of like a cream color and i think that i bought i think that i didn't buy enough We have a problem. So scratch off everything I said in the previous videos. Seriously, I didn't want to delete that content just because I want to show you guys how Realistically these projects are or how these projects typically go at least for me They're not perfect and I don't get everything right I sometimes make mistakes and I have to go back to the store and buy New fabric, which is what ex exactly what I did today. So the measurements were wrong But I did mention that I'm gonna save that piece of fabric obviously for a future project, which is um, spoiler, um, I am gonna use it for Noah's room. I have something really cool that I want to do with that because I found some some really great inspo for boys rooms on Pinterest and I want to obviously make over but I feel like Noah's room is a huge project so I really have to save up for that one. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I actually went to buy more fabric. I actually bought a full yard this time and this should be enough. 
if I do not have enough, I swear to God, I'm gonna cry. It is, it has to be, yes it is. Also, I ended up picking up the uh, cup hooks. These are the ones that I found. I know Home Depot had them in a gold color, but I decided to go with these. These are like the antique brass, but I'm gonna add rub and buff to make it a little bit nicer. And yeah, these should work perfectly fine. So now what I have to do is measure the window, how wide I'm gonna have this fabric and how long. And then we're going to glue. It's that tape that you iron onto fabric and it sticks onto it instead of sewing because I do not have a sewing machine. I don't know how to sew. So that's what we're gonna do. So I did get this idea from someone on Pinterest and I will go ahead and show you guys right here. I think their page is called Lane and Lane. They do have a lot of really cool uh, home projects that I've seen and I love their home, honestly. I think I have one of their uh, front porch picture saved in like my patio boards. But anyways, that's so funny that I found them and they're the same person that I've been saving pins from. It's no surprise really. <laughs> I'm actually DIYing it her way. And of course, you know, just with a different fabric. So I decided to go with this one just because it is neutral. And of course, I feel like this, I won't get tired of. It's pretty versatile, versatile? Versatile, versatile, versatile. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Trick on my sleeve, I can show you, but I can guarantee you look at me and see that I'm the type of girl you're not really that used to. I'm only gonna give it to you honestly. I know this right taking some time, but I know I'll be okay. So I'm done gluing or ironing it. I'm not a really big fan of um, that ironing adhesive tape. It doesn't always work for me. I don't know if I'm not doing it right or if it's just a brand. I don't know. So what started happening was in some spots, the adhesive started like transferring into um, or through the fabric. So it did come off or like, not come off it actually went through and was sticking onto the iron i ha actually had to clean the iron so in some spots it didn't stick very well and it's actually the one end so it's not too bad but i have to fix that i mean i don't know maybe i'm just gonna i'm thinking of just adding glue i feel like glue would have been easier to do also this was hard for me to actually do as straight as possible I tried following like the pattern that it has. The pattern wasn't really straight. I felt like it was kind of going sideways. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, like I was trying to go by the line. So this is the spot that I need to glue because obviously it lifted, the adhesive went through and yeah, it didn't stick. But here it is all rolled up. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna make the holes. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna make the holes because I have a hole puncher, but that's not gonna work. I think that you need like a specific a specialty tool, but I didn't want to spend more money, honestly. And I feel like I can probably just, I don't know, like cut, use a knife and kind of poke out a hole a little bit. I do not have a hole puncher, like I mentioned, which is why I'm gonna try using the soldering iron to poke a hole through the fabric because the fabric is really thick. It is outdoor fabric, so it's obviously thicker and we'll see how that goes. I hope that I don't burn it. I'm gonna try it on like a piece of scrap first and see how that goes. Oh my gosh, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So it gets really hot and look at it, it's steaming already. And I actually got to make a hole so it's gonna work perfectly i'm so happy with about that because honestly i hate coming up with new diy projects and then i come to realize that i need to buy tools that i don't have to make these diy projects so then your diy projects end up costing you more than if you would have bought you know the actual thing okay so i already have the grommet on this side and then i'm gonna you have to use this little tool i think it's like to protect it or to have something to um hold its place from you put it in the back and it kind of stays in place and then you put this part the way that you're gonna use it push it in there and then this you 
do that and then hammer it. Crazy, right? Neat. moment of truth it works <laughs> okay the edging is not perfect but i mean you can't tell honestly oh. 